Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll be talking about the Nothing Phone 1 Glyph interface. So we all know that when uh, Nothing Phone 1 was first uh, showcased, uh, the eye-catching uh, option about this device is the LED indicators at the back. You can see this is called the Glyph interface and you can see uh, there are a lot of options to customize for this Glyph interface. So let's see how uh, they are useful and how good uh, the customization options are. So you can see here this forms uh, different LEDs around the camera unit you have then uh, we have this uh, circular layer this is for faster charging so if you have a wireless uh, charging enabled uh, device you can see that uh, this uh, can uh, charge uh, uh, reverse wireless charging is also supported uh, so if you have a wireless charging uh, device you can keep it on this and enable the reverse wireless charging and uh, charge another device then you also have this uh, LED indicator at the bottom for uh, battery uh, charging uh, whenever charger is connected you can see this notification so this is the glyph interface so let's see how to customize the glyph interface so before getting started if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so this is how the glyph interface looks like and see that uh, there are lots of LED lighting here so uh, how to customize this so we'll just go to the interface and uh, we will show you how to customize this option so let's just take uh, the settings and uh, if you uh, take settings uh, you can uh, see that there is an option called uh glyph interface so this is the glyph interface so we have enabled the glyph interface so you can enable or disable uh, the glyph interface from here now second option is uh, how to uh, increase or decrease the brightness of the glyph interface so you can uh, reduce the brightness or increase the brightness how much brightness you want uh, if you increase the brightness obviously uh, it will consume more battery that's uh, uh, possible but then uh, if you want a very bright LED then uh, better to increase the brightness the next is uh, you can uh, have custom uh, ringtones and also you can see here default uh, ringtone this is the default ringtone and you can also add your own custom uh, ringtone say for example i have added the iphone ringtone so you can see here so you can see here i have used the iphone ringtone now here so that's how you can add your own custom uh, uh, sounds you can just uh, download the sounds and add it to the folders here and you can use it here uh, and uh, the sound will be uh, customized based on the ringtone so that's how you can uh, use the custom ringtones so uh, you can also select uh, the contact uh, for example uh, for a specific contact you can set a ringtone and uh, the default ringtones have uh, you can see here So default ringtones have their own uh, advantage because uh, there are some 10 uh, ringtones available so you can uh, select uh, based on that so these are the options available in the ringtones next uh, you can also add a contact uh, as i said before now ring notification sound so you can also uh, add a notification sound similar to how we have added uh, the ringtones you can also use custom sounds uh, here as well then another option is charging meter so whenever you are charging uh, using the charger uh, the charging meter will be there you can see now i have enabled it i have connected to the charger uh, just uh, connecting to the charger and i'll just show you so you can see here now the battery percentage is uh, this much and you can see that uh, charging uh, is shown this is how the charging meter works next uh, i will just show you other option then you can uh, use the google uh, assistant feedback you can see here whenever you are using google assistant this uh, bottom light glows this one glows actually and you can use that as a feedback now flip to glyph this is very useful actually this is one of the very useful functionalities i found you can use just uh, flip uh, the device to enable the glyph and this will go into the vibration mode and uh, you won't get the ringtones instead you will be shown only the led this is particularly useful if you want to quickly uh, i mean incoming call if you want to mute an incoming call or if you want uh, silent notifications for uh, incoming calls you can use this and there is also an option to schedule uh, the uh, the glyph interface so we'll show you how the flip to glyph work so just uh, flip the device and keep it and now you can see this is a flip to glyph and if i make a call to this number so now we'll make a call to this number so you can now see that uh, there is no uh, 
sound in fact this is in fact this is not now in mute but just because i have kept it uh, uh, in the flip mode it will only show the led indicator so this is very useful because uh, you don't have to mute every time just keep the device flip and it will show up the led notifications uh, when call comes up now another option is uh, when you are using uh, the camera uh, you can actually see you can see that uh, you can use the flashlight so if i use the flashlight uh, this is the flashlight uh, so here you go this is the flashlight but you can also use the glyph interface as uh, option you can see here glyph uh, fill light now you can see that uh, if i am using the camera in a darker condition you can use this uh, glyph interface to capture a picture instead of using the flash here so this is how you can work so you can see here this works only when you open the camera app so you can see here this is flashlight flashlight turned on and then you can see the c uh, or rather the glyph interface you can see this is how it works so this is again once again very useful feature if you want to take a, a selfie or a photo uh, or rather it doesn't work with selfies but it uh, it works only with the rear camera so if you want to take pictures using the rear camera uh, you can use this uh, glyph lights so that was the glyph interface and how to customize the glyph interface so uh, this is how it works and it works perfectly in fact the customization options are also good but is it really uh, worth the value it adds to a device probably not it doesn't add that much of a value uh, for the additional pricing it is being cost because uh, the competitive devices are priced slightly lower and this is slightly priced higher so this led doesn't add much of a value but it's it actually looks uh, good uh, the aesthetic value it adds is pretty good but then functional wise uh, probably i don't see much of an issue or much of a uh, uh, features with the glyph interface so that's how you can customize the glyph interface on the nothing phone one hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day